Well TV would like to welcome the chairman of the club Scott Campbell and the head coach of the club um, Scott Cowan Right guys, K Leisure are not allowing us into the rink until January I believe This is what's been getting spouted out What's your thoughts on that Scott? Obviously we're not happy about it um, There's been a lack of honesty and transparency around the whole thing We have been asking them since July for a meeting All requests have been ignored until they managed to get the equipment on the ice and now all of a sudden they want to meet with the ice users um, and, 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 You know what our thoughts are, we are not convinced that anything's going to change despite the change in government guidelines, despite every other rink now putting dates in place There is a financial argument being made, allegedly Yet I've just been informed yesterday that KA Legend have waived all of September's gym fees So the story they told us about not being able to afford it when they can afford the transportation and moving around and all this new gym equipment they can afford to waive all their gym membership September fees but they, they couldn't afford to put the ice down so something doesn't ring true here but when, when you operate a what is effectively a close job company that the council keep at arm's length it, it's almost like a dictatorship no one has any control over what they do and they're not actually accountable to anyone that's 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 not good news when you're when you're saying that. Well, Scott, Scott, how does this aff affect the wild? As in, us as a club trying to build a really good SNL team. So, for us as a club uh, trying to build, it obviously impacts us massively because everybody was looking forward to the start of a new season, which would have been a third season altogether. Um, and without a clear uh, end goal in sight or a date to get back on the ice, it's quite disheartening. My job as a coach, however, is to keep all the guys focused. And uh, we've been doing that through off ice sessions, however, that's no substitute for the ice. Um, obviously, you can see behind us the amount of people that have done down and support. Um, the wild guys are here, all the juniors are here showing their support for uh, what we need to get the ice back open, even just a date. Um, so, not good news for the ice users, not good news for the wild, and not good news for ice hockey in Scotland in general. No, no, you're right there. Well, Scott mentioned something earlier about the equipment being on the pad. Would you be, would you, do both of you be worried about the equipment being on directly straight onto the pad, as in damaging the pad? Definitely, I think uh, obviously they've used the, the idea of putting the space out for social distancing workouts, which is great, but I think in the long term, all the, the repetitive strain and, and, and pounding and that heavy weights and the equipment will do uh, lasting damage to the ice pad underneath and could potentially cost gay leisure more money in the long run. Yeah, well, coming to you, Scott, would you not think that it would be better for North Ayrshire Council maybe looking into some of the buildings that are lying empty and dormant and using them for gyms? That, that's far too obvious a common sense approach for them to take. I think what everyone's established here is they do not have a commercial mentality to how they run this building. It's, and not just this building, I think the whole operation. They've operated like a council department. They give you reasons why not to do things. Yeah. That's a massive amount of peak ice hire hours that they could make money out of, that other rinks do make money out of, but they just don't seem interested in it because the response to everything tends to be, this is the way we've always done it. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen guys, thanks very much for the support and this will go up and we'll see what K Leisure come back with. Yep. Thanks very much guys. Thank you.